Well, hey, everybody. This Hello. is Scott and Bethany Palmer, the money Hello. couple. <laughs> Welcome to Wealth Wednesday. Absolutely. So Your good to have you. Your relationship is worth it. Absolutely. That's for sure. Absolutely. We're all about making relationships healthy, and we're about making you wealthy. And so that's what oh, we're I like here that. to. Healthy and wealthy. Hey, you know, that kind of was a little You're more. You're a poet and you didn't know it. Right. Thank you. Just took that one to the next level. <laughs> so, anyways, we're just so excited to be here today. And uh, we've had a great summer. And we've mm-hmm. spent a lot of time talking about kids this summer since we know that our time spent with them is a little more intense in the summers. And um, so we, we spent the last two or three Facebooks that we've done and we took a week off because we were both traveling yep. kind of in opposite directions. But it was interesting as we were talking about what we wanted to talk about oh, this before, week. Before we do this. Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, one thing, we just love thumbs up. We love hearts. We love seeing those. We love yeah. questions. We love and suggestions comments. from you. Comments have been awesome. Sometimes the comments from you are just so inspiring to other people. So please, you know, you've got an idea. If something comes to your mind as we're talking through these ways, we're going to be talking today about how to have a money fight free vacation. Really important. I mean, I remember being on vacations and my parents would argue about money and it really puts a damper on it. And yeah. so today we want to talk about this, but I just want to do shouts out, shout outs. If you can you know, give us a thumbs up, if you can give us comments, it just helps move everybody forward. So we love it and we really appreciate it. So come on in. All right. So here we are. We're talking today about how to have a money fight free vacation. You know, I think part of the reason we want to do this subject is we're kind of in the midst of that. Right. Um, we kind of started traveling at the beginning of June and it has been Crazy. nonstop. I think we left like May 31st and just because of soccer, I mean, not soccer, my kids would kill me if they heard me say that <laughs> because of lacrosse tournaments, because of basketball tournaments, because of football, because of weights. We have just been traveling like crazy. And at the beginning, we had some people give us some great ideas about how they make just amazing summer memories. And um, we've definitely tried a couple of those out and they worked fantastic. So this is just, you know, kind of carrying on that subject. You might have already done your vacation and maybe you're planning for your Christmas vacation already. Yes. (laughs) We're not quite there yet, but no. <laughs> um, we've just got a couple, uh, one more trip really this summer. But we wanted to talk about the three tips for fight for your vacation. All right, so let's jump in and keep the comments coming because we love them because half of what we're sharing with you, you've given back to us and we've been testing it and trying it this summer. Oh, so, no, you just went on a little oh, road trip. Oh, yeah, let with... me tell you about this crazy road trip. So my son, Cole, turned 16 a week and a half ago. And so... Um, since the age of six, we were big into, hey, we're going to match you dollar for dollar for a car. And um, he has been saving for 10 years now. And he actually, uh, we told him he at least had to save 6000 And we would match that 6000 And he actually went and bought his first car. He bought a Honda Civic Si, which I had no idea that SI was code word for goes way too fast. Um, (laughs) But it's a Honda Civic SI. So we flew down to um, Sarasota, Florida. My brother has a Honda dealership, Wild Automotive. And so Dean took care of him, put new tires on it, gave us a great deal, obviously, because we're family and he probably felt guilty. And and so we then did did a 28-hour road trip home. We hit seven or eight states let's see we started in florida we're in georgia kentucky i'm missing one in the middle kentucky tennessee Tennessee, illinois missouri kansas and colorado eight states in a day and a half so we did 18 hours the first day and then got all the way to columbus missouri and then we got into colorado springs around six o'clock on sunday night and here's the crazy thing i drive an suv and he and he's got this little honda civic So when we drove to just Branson for our summer vacation, that was about $275 that I paid in gas. We paid for that entire trip $162 in gas total. Total! So I'm a big, huge fan of the Honda Civic. Like I said, I'm not... (laughs) Not quite sure about the SI part, but uh, thank oh, you, Dean. And there's Dean. a really loud, what's that thing called that makes it Well, he's really got loud? this exhaust system with this can on the back. And okay. um, I couldn't hear the first night. We, it's not, and it wasn't a cheap can. It's not one of those you just screw on for you car guys out there. It's legit. It is a 
$500 exhaust system that this guy put on the car. But it goes... <laughs> it sounds like a car. It's very cool for a 16-year-old, yeah. but not for a... He is amped. But I was something. literally deaf by the time we got home. It took me <laughs> two days before I got He's that. He's like, honey, I can't hear Right, it was a wall in my ear. <laughs> but what a... Uh, just It was just such... A great trip, yeah. and what a great memory that he and I got to travel across eight states in 28 hours, and uh, just it was a blast. So, anyways, thank you, Dean Palmer. If you're watching this, usually you do watch these, yes. and uh, you're the best big brother in the world. Yep. And uh, thank you, Wild Automotive in Sarasota, Florida. If you're any of our Florida peeps, they've got Honda, Acura, Lexus, Jag, Ma Maserati. If you buy a Maserati, let me know. I'd love to see a picture of your Maserati, um, but a huge thanks to Wild Automotive in Sarasota, Florida. Yeah. So hey, let's great, let's jump so, in. So many great memories when yeah, it comes to absolutely. vacations, it was a and, blast. and we just want to make sure that what we do is help you make sure that we don't have money fights. Yep. Money fights, there's no place for money fights on a vacation. It ruins it for the kids, it ruins it for you, it makes you yeah. frustrated, and we're not going to have any people who out, out there, no money fights left this summer, or as Scott said, maybe you're planning your Christmas one now, but anyway, no money fights. We're so we're going to give you some give you some tips, three tips towards a money fight vacation. All, All right, right, here we so go. So this Number first one. one is one that Woo. we discovered and we got some feedbacks from some people and we love this one. And this is going to sound kind of crazy. Um, and, but it's confirm your meal approach before you leave. So confirm how you're going to eat. Can I give just a little input Please. there too? I think that's where the biggest fights happen is over meals. Yeah. It's meals, extras, Meals and extras are probably the two biggest ones because everybody kind of has their idea of what's appropriate to eat and some people are like, it's vacation, let's go for it. And some people are like, well, I want to save some calories out. and I don't want to go big this lunch and things like that. So it, it, there's a lot of kind of emotions wrapped into the meals on a vacation. And super, super important to have this talked out before the vacation. So go ahead. Yeah. Go so ahead. basically it's just confirming your meal. So I yeah. know like, for instance, we go to Branson, we have a, a big, huge kitchen where we stay. Mm -hmm. So we always do breakfast in. They don't have a free, I know a lot of hotels have free breakfast. This one, this particular one doesn't, but we always eat breakfast in. Yeah. And, and that way breakfast is just time kind of taken care of. We're not big breakfast people anyways. I know we're supposed to be, I know that's like the healthier option, but we're big dinner people. So I think that's our European roots or something. Yes. But, um, so we do breakfast in. Don't like all the calories sit in your stomach all night. Yeah, you, I know. Ew. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Well, whatever. We still do big dinners. <laughs> so, um, oh, it's crazy. and we love Mexican Thumbs food. up for big dinners. Yeah. Yeah. yeah love big dinners. <laughs> so we just kind of do a lighter breakfast and we bring it in super cheap. The kids just get whatever they want at the grocery store when we get there. And then we, about half the time we do the same thing with lunch where mm -hmm. If it's just a sandwich and we know we're going to go big at dinner, which we always do, um, we just kind of pack in for lunches too. My mom and dad are hilarious. We go on vacation with them. Love you, mom and dad, if you're watching this. They're huge into picnics at lunch. Like that's just their deal. And, <laughs> and that's not, I love it. That's how I grew up. And my kids love it. That's kind of how they've grown up with so grandma So we agreed and beforehand too. that we would do that. Yeah. So. so anyways, and then we go big at dinner. And we, we really go big. We go to nicer restaurants with great menus and do great research wine where the best options ones are. and great so margarita fun. options. Yes. And so that's how we do. But here's the thing. When you confirm your meal plan, you can set expectations with each other. Yes. You can set expectations with your kids. Yep. And there's no conversation about it. Right. There's no fighting about it. So that's right. number one. All right. Confirm your meal, confirm your meal approach. approach. The second yes. one is confirm paid for activities before you leave. So let me give you an example. If you're going to Walt Disney World and you know you're hitting three parks, have it paid for before. And yep. totally decided before. Yep. We we do a couple uh, fun things. I'm just going to use Branson since that's the trip that it's we funny. Is Branch on. Branson is our cheapest vacation, or I shouldn't say cheapest, least expensive vacation. And of the year when we're sitting around and we're talking about the best thing that we did the whole year, Branson is always there. Uh, just because we have so much fun, but we know some of these activities. We did the slingshot thing scared me to death. They put us way up and they drop you. To me, it's the definition of hell, but the family loves it, so I just man up and do it. But we know how much it's gonna cost, and it's, it's a really great activity. We were gonna actually go to a park this year, 
but we drove to the park and no one was in the mood. So even though we had that thought through and we knew what we were going to spend on that, we bailed on it and we did mm-hmm. something else. So we don't want to take any of your spontaneity away from spontaneity. Sorry. Spontaneity. spontaneity. Is that a word? Spontaneity or is it spont- spontaneity? What is it? Spontaneity. 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 I don't know. I know. I'm messing that word up. Okay. Anyone feel free to correct me and just instant me and instant message us on this and tell us how you actually say the word. But anyways, we don't want to take any of the spontaneous fun that you could have on vacation away. But if you kind of know what you're going to spend, whether you're going to go to this park or whether you're going to do a slingshot or you're going to go, um, you know, a beach costs this much to get on or parking, whatever, just do your research before. So you kind of have an idea of what you're going to spend. Because once again, the, the setting the expectations and taking away money surprises, we say, Every week, we say money surprises are the worst, worst surprise surprises. that you can have. Yep. And, but if you're taking away those surprises, you're going to be relaxed. You're going to have fun. You're going to have more fun because you know what you're walking into. We were just talking to this uh, couple, and I'll just keep their names. Thank you for holding that. My yeah. arm is getting tired. Um, and we were talking to them, and they had the best vacation because they had it all planned out beforehand, and they'd never done that before. And he's more of the spender risk taker. She's the saver security seeker. By the way, if you don't know your two money personalities, get online and take got it. Got it. Get online. Take the money personality assessment at themoneycouple.com because your relationship is worth it. Anyway, so they went on and it was always like, he was always like, we're going to do fun stuff. We're going to do stuff that costs money. And we're going to, and he would think that in his mind before the trip. And then of course, when they, when he wanted to go do it and they are on the trip, she would put up a resistance and they would have a fight. And they just decided this time they are not going to do it. They put a budget of the amount. He was able to go online. Now, the nice thing with online now is there's really no expense that you don't have to know about. Yeah, I mean, it's so true. amazing what you can figure out online, too. And they had the best family vacation. And the kids even commented and said, well, Mom, you and Dad didn't. So they were like surprised. Yeah. And how exciting is that? So, planning out some of those things is so great. Not meaning that you can't change it if, if it you know, family desire or whatever, like right. Scott said, but that planning out, planning out the money, especially if you guys are on opposite sides of the spectrum, super, super important and makes your vacation so much more fun and you will avoid the fights. Now, if you're more of the spender risk taker in your relationship, then make sure that you aren't spontaneously saying, oh, let's go do this and let's go do this and let's go do that because that will really, again, turn to the money fights and we don't want those on your vacation. So we're really excited for this couple. They just had that personal situation happen to them uh, from uh, uh, some feedback that they gave to us. So we're really, really excited. So make sure that the meals are planned. That's where a lot of the fights happen is over meals. And then second, make sure that the major activities are planned and that you know what those are going to be. And again, so there's no no money fights. Okay, what's Absolutely. the last okay, one, Last money? but not least is confirm the extras for your kids before you leave. And so, you know, it's interesting, Bethany, um, here, I think I can just set it, can I go there? Kind of. Um, Bethany did such a great job when our kids were little of, of setting expectations before they would go into Target or the grocery store on guys don't ask me for anything because this is an in and out type shopping trip. When she didn't say that, the kids knew she was a little bit more no, open, um, a little bit more open to maybe getting them a treat or maybe getting them something that they wanted. And so we got this idea from some friends of ours where, and we talked about it earlier this summer, about how we basically give our kids cash uh, for the trip and then that's their money. That's for the extras. Now, if for some reason we just want to buy them now, something. what's an extra, honey? An extra is you go into the gas station and because uh, you're on mile like 350 and you want a candy bar and a soda. Yeah. Great. Do it. Use your own money. That's awesome. I can focus on the gas and we can focus on getting out of that gas station as quickly as possible. But Or souvenirs. Um, or souvenirs. You right. go to the park and they want to get a stuffed animal with Mickey or whatever. It's those extra things. It's not their meals. <laughs> it's those extra things that they're going to ask you for anyways. Give them the money. Two things happen. First of all, it keeps you totally in your budget. And the second thing that happens is you're taking away all the conversation. What a great learning experience for those kids who will spend everything right away. And then there's the kid that gets home and they still have 20 bucks in their pocket and they don't even know why. But we tell our kids they have to spend it. Yeah, we tell our kids you have to spend it because we need yeah. to teach our kids how to enjoy money as well. Yeah. But really confirming these extras with the kids, what it's going to do is going to take tension away. 
It's gonna take the arguments away where you're turning to your spouse going, oh, just let them buy it, who cares? Well, then they get frustrated because they're like, because I don't want them to buy it. If they have their own money, there's no negative conversation happening between you and your spouse, and you're creating an amazing opportunity for your kids to learn how to manage a little bit of money on vacation just like you and your spouse are having So it stops the money fights with your kids, it stops the money fights with each other, it's just a wonderful way and approach to be able to have that fight, money fight free vacation. Absolutely. Really All right, guys. So, right. only six weeks left and the kids are back in school. I cannot believe it. But we wanted to make sure that you had all these tips today. Confirm your meal approach before you leave was point number one. Point number two, confirm and pay for if you can, or at least know what those activities are going to cost. And then number three, Give your kids money for the extras so you don't have to have the conversation. That's right. You guys are awesome. Keep Great. the comments coming. Yeah. Um, we're going to probably see you next Wednesday. I yeah, don't think I we're trying. So. Oh, no. Oh, you're not next Wednesday. Bethany no. is in Virginia at our last uh, sporting event um, yes. for lacrosse yes. for the summer. Yes. And so we'll be off next week, but then we'll be back the following week. You guys are awesome. We Thank you for being part of, part of our community. Yep. Hopefully this was helpful. Keep the comments coming. We want to talk about what you're dealing with with your wealth and your relationships. Have an awesome, awesome Wednesday, and as we always say, make, make it happen. happen.